They've been on ice for 46,000 years. Ancient worms that had been dormant in the permafrost have been revived by scientists. How long do you think you could survive without food, water, or air? A few days, maybe a week. Now consider something surviving 46,000 years, completely frozen, no heartbeat, no movement, only to wake up like nothing happened. That's exactly what scientists just discovered in Siberia. A tiny worm from the ice age that was frozen in permafrost for tens of thousands of years and then brought back to life. This isn't a weird science experiment. It could change everything we know about survival, space travel, and maybe even our own future. Let's dive in. First, let's set the scene. We're talking about a time before human history, way back when massive glaciers covered huge parts of the planet, temperatures were brutally cold, and the world looked nothing like it does today. But deep beneath the frozen ground of Siberia, this little worm, technically a nematode, got trapped. A team of Russian scientists, in collaboration with Anastasia Shatilovich from the Institute of Physico-Chemical and Biological Problems in Soil Science in Russia, made an astonishing discovery. Now you might be wondering, how does something that small even survive being frozen for that long? Most living things need oxygen, food, and water. But this worm pulled off something that sounds almost impossible. It turns out some tiny organisms have an incredible ability called cryptobiosis. Basically, they can shut themselves down completely. No movement, no metabolism, nothing. It's like pressing the ultimate pause button on life. And the crazy part? When conditions get better, they just hit play again. This isn't something totally unheard of. Water bears, also known as tardigrades, are famous for this. Some bacteria can do it too, but 46,000 years, that's next level. Anastasia Shatilovich and her team collected samples from about 130 feet below the surface, using radiocarbon dating to confirm that these layers were at least 46,000 years old. When they warmed the sample and rehydrated it, the nematodes started moving. Not only that, but it began eating and reproducing through a process called parthenogenesis, meaning it didn't even need a mate. Let that sink in. So the tiny worm wakes up after all those years. Cool, but why does it matter? Well, it turns out this discovery isn't only about worms. It raises some huge questions about life, death, and the limits of survival. For starters, if life can press pause for that long, what does that mean for the possibility of finding life elsewhere in the universe? Think about Mars. It's a frozen desert now, but billions of years ago, it had liquid water. If microscopic life ever existed there, could it still be buried under the ice, waiting to be revived? And what about Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, which has a giant frozen ocean? Could something like this worm be hidden beneath that ice, just waiting for the right conditions? This discovery changes what we thought we knew about survival, and it could change how we search for life beyond Earth. Let's take it one step further. If a worm can survive freezing for thousands of years, could humans ever do the same? Right now, if you freeze a human, ice crystals form inside the body and basically destroy the cells. That's why cryonics, freezing people in the hopes of bringing them back later, is still just an idea, not a real possibility. But what if we could learn from this worm? What if we could figure out a way to pause life without damage? It's not as impossible as it sounds. Some frogs already do a version of this freezing solid in winter and thawing out in the spring. So maybe someday, deep space travel could involve astronauts putting themselves into a type of suspended animation. This little worm might have just given us a clue about how to make that happen. Now, as exciting as all of this is, there's another side to it, the part that feels like the beginning of a disaster movie. Because this worm was frozen in permafrost. And what else is trapped in permafrost? ancient viruses and bacteria. As the earth warms and more ice melts, we're not just uncovering tiny harmless worms. Scientists have already found ancient viruses in the permafrost, some thousands of years old and some of them, well, they're still infectious. What if something dangerous is buried down there? Something we have no immunity to. This discovery is a reminder that we're waking up things that have been asleep for thousands of years. And while some, like this worm, might be harmless, others might not be. This little worm's return to life is mind-blowing. It challenges what we know about survival. It opens doors to new scientific possibilities. It even makes us think about what else might be out there, on Earth and beyond. 
but it also raises questions we might not be ready to answer yet. Are we prepared for what else we might uncover in the permafrost? What do you think? Does this discovery excite you or does it freak you out a little? Would you want to wake up thousands of years from now and see the future? Let me know in the comments and if you found this as fascinating as I did, make sure to like and subscribe. Because trust me, science is just getting started.